Welcome back. We're still with the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Mr. Jeffrey Onyama. Thank you for joining us once again. Now, let's continue now with the president's list of ambassador designates, about 90 of them initially. 47 were screened by the Senate last month. A fresh list is out, and there has been a lot of criticisms right now, even from the APC governors, that the list or the, the appointments were not evenly spread. What's your opinion on this? I think the first thing is that people have to understand the role and function of ambassadors and the procedures for appointing them. An ambassador is an extension of the president in a country. That's why actually the only people that are called excellency, legitimately called excellency, are the president, and the ambassadors, and I suppose uh, governors. So they are an extension of, of, the, uh, of the president. So the president has the prerogative to appoint whoever he wants and to appoint who he believes will best represent him and the country. And that's really it. So it has nothing to do with it being evenly spread? Well, well no, it does. Because, well, of course, the Constitution provides for you know, federal character um, in those appointments. Yeah. And, um, and I think every state has been represented. Even when we've got three in from one state and, in, and one coming from another state, that is not, no basis for criticisms or dis disenchantments. Um, well, I mean, I'm, you know, I, I think, well, it depends because you probably have to look at things holistically, you know, in appointments. Um, you know, as they say, what you lose on the roundabouts, you might gain in the swings. So if you've lost in the roundabouts of the ambassadorial appointments, then maybe in the swings of um, parastatals and, and, and other things, you might now win there. So um, I, I think one would probably have to look at it you know, holistically. And you might see that eventually you know, everything balances itself out. Right. Let's look at the Nigerian students now detained in Turkey right after the coup. Of course, this is running two months. I know you met with the Turkish diplomat here in Nigeria. Tell us uh, what exactly is happening. Well, um, we registered a uh, very strong uh, complaint and concern uh, about that and um, made it clear to the uh, Turkish government at different levels, from the highest level to my level uh, to uh, the ministry level and also our charge d'affaires in Turkey. And um, so initially, you know, there were some um, disagreements about the numbers, you know, and the reasons um, for them. But the present situation is that the Turkish government is saying that they've all been released and that the three that are being detained were actually, uh, they claim, Nigerians who came in from Syria as illegal entrants and not Nigerians in the context of the students, you know, attending uh, schools that the government no longer approves of. So, um, so that's so that they were now being dealt with um, for immigration issues. How many were detained? Well, again, you know, the numbers vary, you know. Um, our um, charge d'affaires there, you know, initially was talking about numbers in the teens, you know, about 14 or so. Uh, initially, the, uh, the Turkish authorities were giving figures below that. Very well, Mr. Jeffrey Onyama, thank you for your time on the Abuja. Thank you for having thank me. You. Thanks a lot.